everyone this video session is for our class 8 students and uh, today i'm taking the topic of ms access two of the topics is already explained by uh, jaya ma'am and kashif sir and this is the third se video session so ms access is a very popular rdbms software package it is a part of ms office RDBMS stands for Relational Database Management System. It is used by the small or the large business organizations to create specialized systems for managing and the creations and the manipulation of data. In simple way, you can understand like this: either the business is small or the business is large or big, then everybody have to record the information. Like in hospitals, the the information about the patients in banks the information about the account holders in school the information about the students in offices the information about the employees all such things have to be recorded so earlier time uh, register was used but these days everything is computerized so information is recorded in the computer and the program which is needed for this purpose is known as rdbms or relational database management software So MS Access is RDBMS. Let's continue with the next topic. That in MS Access, the information is arranged in the form of tables, and you know table that table is consist of rows and columns. As here I have drawn, that is this is a table. It is consist of rows and columns. Then some of the students always have doubt that what are rows and what are columns. Yes. Mean maybe all of you not having, but yes, some of them always have. So these vertical vertical things which I am showing you over here, these are known as columns. Okay, in general way, in simple way, we call it columns. But yes, in MS Access, we don't call it column, we call it fields. Okay, these vertical things are known as fields. every field is having a name and that is known as field name after this and these horizontal things are in simple way known as rows but in ms access or in database these are known as records field give us information about single item and record give us the complete information you can understand like this now for example the very first in the table the very first field is for the roll number so roll number field will give you the information only about roll number now the second one field for example is for name so this name field will give you information only about the name of the student but no no other information and this horizontal things are known as record record give you the complete information like what is the name of the child what is the roll number and other information according to the field name which we have which are written over here now the next topic is a starting ms access okay screen one more uh, one thing i want to say to you that um, in my laptop i am having a ms access 2013 okay uh, at your home you may having some other version so it is no no nothing to worry only some differences will be there but uh, when you are coming to the school and when you will do the practice at that time the things more, will be more clear okay so here if you having book with you so the dialog boxes which will be display given in the book and the dialog box which i am going to show you over here might be different but not too much a little bit so let's uh, do it that how you have to start ms access in your book it is giving started ms access 2007 but here i am having 2013 okay so steps are seen you have to go to the start button then go to all programs and then microsoft access in the same way here also the same steps have to be followed when we open ms access then there are different ways for creating a database here one of the way is the blank database as you can show it over here blank desktop database second is creating using templates and third is download a database from the microsoft office online so okay so here second topic is uh, like uh, create a database using templates 
now for example if you are new to the database and you are not having information much about it means how you have to create a database then you can take the help of the templates you can understand like this these are some sample databases and which can be created automatically you just have to feed information in that okay the next topic is blank database that is create a blank database in ms access for creating a database in ms access you just have to click on the option blank database as you will do it then it shows a dialog box in which you have to give the name to the database Yes, in other application, first we completed the pro, uh, file and then towards the end we give the name to the file. But here in the beginning, you have to give the name to the file. I am saving this database by giving my name, Zeba, and then I am clicking on the button create. So, blank database is created. Okay, so there in the previous uh, video session, JMM had already explained you that we are having uh, four main objects in database and table is the most important one. So here when we create a blank database, the very first thing which we have to do is that we have to create a table. Okay. First you have to create the table and then afterwards you can create the other information. So here automatically a blank table will be displayed to you the name of the table is table 1 this id field is automatically be there you don't have to worry about it if you want to change the name of it you can change for example you want roll number or you want admission number that in that way it can be done otherwise if you don't want to change it fine no problem i'm just creating a simple table so you will get an idea that how you have to do it okay now the next topic is uh, creating a table that i've already explained you that what is table tables consist of rows and columns but here we call it field and record and all the information we enter in it then information which is entered in the table is known as values so as we create a database this type of the window will get appear on the screen now automatically it will show you one table now here there table number one that is table one now here you have to directly enter the information which you want for example in here you want to enter the name of the student i am just writing uh, some names okay now for example i want one more field in which i want to enter the houses of the student so here i am writing for example uh, the student raj is in red house okay now for coming for the first field to enter field i press the tab key here you can press the enter key in this way the information can be entered now i just want to these two information that the name of the students and their houses now the next name i'm entering amit and the house i have entered green so in this way the information one by one you can enter the information whatever the information you want to enter over here now third information now house is blue this time i'm taking and one more inf uh, information i want it over here that is for the four child four student you can say and then for example i'm giving the house yellow now here you will notice that the field name for this is field one and for this particular field means the house is the field name is two now i will change the field name for changing the field name just double click over here as i double click then this gets selected deleted and type and type a new name for example here i have written name now come to the second field and then for this second field name of the student name is not name of the student i have taken and second field now there are two ways first is double clicking second double click over here and select the option rename it gets selected and now change the name of the field for example houses after this we have to save this table please remember the earlier the name which i had given it was given to the database and now i will save the table by giving the name so the first click on the save icon there's a save icon is given there is no need to go to the file menu and select the option save directly you can click on the save icon 
As you click on the save icon, then save as dialog box appears on, on the screen. It is given here table name. By default, the table will be saved by giving the name table 1. And when we create the next table, it will be saved by giving the name table 2. If you want to change the name, then you can change the name. Otherwise, there is no name. Click on the OK button and then the table is saved. Now, here you can see in tables, table 1 is created. Now, I have closed this table. And if you want to open this table again, then I can directly open by clicking on this option. That is table 1. So, my table is displayed on the screen. This is known as viewing a table. Just bring the cursor on the name of the table and double click on it. Then the table will open in the data sheet view. Okay, students, please remember this view is known as data sheet view. Where we have to enter the information directly. Now, assignment students, question number 1, write down the steps to save a table in MS Access. Question number 2, write down the steps to view a table in MS Access. Question number 3, define fields and records. Thank you.